Welcome back to the next arc of Mr. Iron Bar. The final item still eludes us. In the previous episode, I reached 3,000 next kill count in small teams and accumulated around 5,100 shards, which is roughly on average like 14 to 15 items. And not a single one of those items is a Torva Legs. Torva Legs are roughly 1,500 shards on average per person. So we're really dry for this final drop. Race 3 just got announced to be out on August 24th, so we have little time left to grind next. In this episode, we will go even harder than ever before to try to complete full Torva. Let's see if we can escape Ice Prison once and for all. If you enjoy this episode and you're excited to see the full Torva completion and Race 3, make sure you like the video and subscribe because there's a lot of fire content coming up. Who drops? No. <gasps> Oh, pff, you already got that though. Oh my god. <laughs> she already has that. Uh, no way. Damn. Imagine it was leg. She would have been done before me. That's a pretty great trip, man. We did eight kills uh, an hour today almost. Averaging three to four mans. So 35 kills, man. Really good. Oh, worth it. Worth it. I'm so glad I spent five minutes trying to catch this imp, bro. We got 224 DRs. Oof, absolutely precious. Ooh, wow. Sub six minutes, trio. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. I just saw you guys three Ruby. I just saw three 110s. That was crazy. Oh, what? Torva play body? Damn. Okay, we did see something today. Nice. More money. What is- No, he'll horn? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I need- Oh my god, I haven't gotten a drop in a few weeks, but like- Oh, shit. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Ah, eh, I might just keep this one, but- Damn, bro. I mean, we did see two drops today. One, one of them was mine. Wow. Uh, I need the legs, though, man. First uh, dupe. First dupe. For the crossbow, I guess. Okay. So, I'm under 10,000 charges again on the blood fairy. Let's just add these two. So, that's all I'm gonna do. Just gonna have two uh, prepped in my bank every time my uh, initial blood fairy is under 10k so we're gonna afk some fires once again huh how many have i used probably at least eight or ten it's down more food oh yo that's sick nice scratch on the freaking pet holy shit nice dude i haven't, uh, haven't seen many pets they're pretty rare i'm not gonna lie What the f- <laughs> Oh my god. No way. Oh shit. Give me those legs. I'm pretty much on raid for a third horn, actually, you know. I am freaking 190 mil strength XP. Yo, 190 mil strength XP? Wait, oh, hit points, hit points. 190 mil hit points, holy shit. What's gonna be the first 200 mil? It could be strength, it could be range, or it could be hit points. They're, they're all pretty close. Close. Nice, we did it. Oh my god. Oh, 3200 kills too, as well. Definitely a good stopping point for the night here. Chill, 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 bro. <clears throat> oh my god, no way. Wait, and someone got the pet? What? <laughs> what? That's crazy. What the hell? Holy shit. Well, the thing is, Lily already got the pet. And I've, I've already, dude, this makes no sense. This literally makes no sense. I've gone three horns in like the last 10 days or some, something. This summer heat is pushing our hygiene skills to the test, but Manscaped's performance package 4.0's got everything we need to make it easy. Our corn area can get pretty wild down there, but Manscaped's lawnmower 4.0 can safely tame all that dense jungle. It's got skin safe technology, so you can mow down with quick efficiency it's also waterproof and comes with a powerful LED light for your convenience. The package comes with the Crop Preserver Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. 
so you can keep your crotch area clean, fresh, and smelling good for any occasion swiftly. You also get the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer so that you can look your best for those extra special moments. For a limited time, getting the performance, performance package. package will come with the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs too. Use my code RICECUP at manscaped.com to get 20% off. This is the best time to master your hygiene so you can look and feel good while doing the things you love, like being an absolute gamer. What? Oh my god, you got- Dude, you just got the next pet twice today. Your third next pet in like, less than two weeks. Oh, holy shit. No way, I got two drops today. Damn it, dude. Oh, I mean, a dupe Torver helm. Okay, this this is our first dupe Torver helm ever, so. Okay, come on, man. Next drop, please, Torver Lakes. Actually, I can't say that. I'm gonna jinx it. Alright. Drop my stats even more, will ya? Holy shit, three in a row? Four in a row? Oh my god, I just forced it. That's never happening again. <laughs> Ancient Hill? Oh my god. I haven't seen that one in a while. Uh, okay. I mean, it's rare. It's a rare item, so it's nice to actually not see this that often. Whoa, I just teleported again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you got another Ancient Hill on the same... What? That was like two kills back. Lol, my... What the hell? Wow, that's insane. And I thought I was lucky with Ancient Hilts. Alright guys, it's time to do an insane amount of prep work because I am very low on everything now. Okay, time to make a thousand prayer pots. A thousand restores, hopefully. A thousand brews. Uh, yeah, I need to get ready for some super combats too. Oh. Alright, so the mold's digging, so I'm gonna put on the stamina. Ring, aka the Ring of Endurance, because I do use stamina, killing moles. So I'm just getting my last finishing bruise agile mole. Also, it's good for the pet as well. I'm using the Zarya crossbow actually here, because it's really good at finishing off the mole when it's at low HP. Yeah, we're getting like 76.6, so yeah. If I'm sweating, I could probably get 80 kills an hour with the Tebow. Trade in some mole parts. I need some bird's nest, so... It's time to put some money in the kingdom, guys. I'm just gonna max it out, basically. Uh, I decided I'm just gonna go with some mahoganies. I don't really need those herbs. Like, the most important ones from Kingdom is like Ranar, but I get so many from just random things. I don't use enough peapots, so. But, if I do mahogany logs and maple logs, I get maximum bird dance, and you get a bit more of these colorful ones, which can give you those chicken outfit, you know? That's like a free log slot. So this is going to probably go all towards next once again so this will be like my four thousandth potion of each i make for this boss alone and i'll probably have to make some more for race three but don't worry about it a thousand at a time is for my experience the best way to go about it so i'm gonna clean all these herbs dang that costed quite a bit and i'm gonna put them onto potions dang that costed like what three mil or something oh nice so when did they do the uh, space bar for making uh, silver jewelry, sweet. Uh, I think they, they probably just do it for all the jewelry now, right? I decided to start using Emma Chemistries again just because I don't want to make another a thousand set of these. So the Chemistries will give me some extra doses so we can make the potions last a little bit. I'd say on an Iron Man, it's pretty worth it. So if you have the energy to make these Chemistries, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have now and restocked a thousand brewers, a thousand restores. Uh, yes, a thousand plus super combats. I gotta make some divine ones for sure. Uh, yes, a thousand prayer pots. We are back in action for another, I don't even know, like a month plus of next. Yeah, new collection log. Let's go. Yeah, I'm starting to like really dig this stuff. Definitely could get into this more. Oh, okay. We're uh, upping our Dragon Bolts rubies. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, how do you keep getting the pet? That's like the fourth pet in a month or something that you got the pet. Yo, what? Dragon Boots and Blood Essence? That's a 400k drop from killing a minion. 
Yo, 3300 KC with the boy uh, Rixi. He's uh, learning some necks right now, so. Oh shit, I got 195 mil range XP. Jesus. I think this might be my. F this will be the first 200 mil, maybe? We've amped up to like 30, 40 kills a day, which is like. At least 50 plus percent more than what I do a day. And my potions are definitely taking, uh, taking a hit right now. Seen any scammers? <laughs> no, the, 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 the torment legs. No, first kill. <laughs> uh, it's not mine though. Oh my god. Rip. Fifth pair. Oh my freaking god. Yo, we just hit 3,500 KC. What's uh, 6,600 shards? Holy shit. Yo, collection lock? Yes. Oh, let's go. I just need to get. Uh, I think the mask and the legs for the rest of the mine outfit random event collection log. So, hell yeah, let's go. Two collection log slots, let's go. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe they added that on Rune Light. Shifting uh, NPC venues to left click. Well, I mean, this is a really good uh, change because I really don't like the fact of having to right click. But uh, this is technically faster to get blood shards, pickpocketing. So if I really need more blood shards and like I just get really bad spell killing these guys for the blood shards, well, we're gonna have to pickpocket some NPCs instead for the blood shards. All right, guys, I gotta make some dodgy necklaces, which requires silver and opal. So very easy to make, so definitely worth the time to. All right, guys, um, this is just a really rough estimate here. So I've done this for about 30 minutes now, and I've pickpocketed about 350. So that means 700 pickpockets an hour. And it's one in 5,000. Seven hours would be me pickpocketing 5,000 times, but because with Rogue's outfit, you get two shards. So on average, it would take three and a half hours per shard okay so i just looked up the wiki so we have shadow fail at 15 percent chance to ignore a failure and dodge necklace is a 25 percent chance per charge to ignore a failure as in not getting stunned and then you also have uh the rd diaries which i think it's also like 10 percent or something like that you definitely want to have the best of everything you got when you're pickpocketing these guys, because it makes such a big difference. And XP prior is actually really good, but obviously this is biased because I'm already max stats. I'm 99 thieving, probably a bit less than 200k an hour. Oh yay, mine gloves and legs. Um, I need to get the mask though. I didn't realize it was five items. Like I put the off doing random events for so many years in this account. Yo, <gasps> oh I got it. Yes, boy. Wait, that, there's no notification. What? For beefing blood shards? Oh, scam, dude. We just got it. Ah, nice. 5,000 pickpocket. That's good, because that's going to save me like at least a week plus of having to do a uh, virus like actively. I'm going to put a little picture up here. Wow, 20 mil worth of loot. 5,000. Uh, mostly all the loot is from the blood shards, of course, because they're around 9 mil each. And I gained a mil GP just from pickpocketing 5,000 virus. So. Remember, this rogue's outfit doubles, so. Whoa, back to back dragon boots. That's cool. I haven't seen that. While well, casing before. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Three blood essence is a drop notification. Oh, you just got Torva Farm. Looks like my teammate actually completed full Torva, so that's one of many of my teammates that has uh, <laughs> completed it way before me. Congrats to the boy, though, on completion. We're getting 65k an hour, though. That's sick. Wow, that was so fast. What the hell? Jesus. That felt so fast. 548. Last kill, 3600. Oh. All right, we did a lot of kills today, though, and there were a lot of small teams, like extra small threes, a lot of threes, a lot of fours. 43 kills, damn, that's that's a drop raise worth of a drop. We did see a drop, though, today. Yeah.
I have the food, but I just can't. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Holy shit, we're fucking done! Oh, oh my god, dude! Holy crap! Oh, I didn't even recognize what it was because I was like, I've never seen that. What is that? <laughs> Holy! Oh my god! Wow, it's done! Holy shit! Oh, damn, that's actually insane. All right, so here's the finale, boys. Twelve legs. 3,363kc, um, 3,000 of them have been approximately 4-man averages, 7,144 shards. Okay, so we're gonna dismantle one of my passes here, I have 4, so we could buy one of them. This is the perfect amount to make the repair for the Torva Lakes, so yeah, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna freaking do it, we're gonna do it, yes! Where's the Smith XP? Give me that fat EXP, boy. Torva leg's done, but here it is, full Torva. No more tacits, bro. Oh my god, I actually look like a... I look like a real gamer right now, though. Full Torva. Okay, we got an hour left today, so let's, let's go ahead and do our full testing of Torva at next first, because, you know, we're out of here after this, and then we're gonna use Torva everywhere else, you know, for all the Slayer bosses, all the other collection log goals, etc. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do a proper Torva showcase at a bunch of bosses in the next video. And of course, next will be included, so I'll talk more in depth about it then. Let's talk about the overall major uniques from completing next. So we got 17 uniques, four play bodies, four horns, three vampires, one leg, two helms, and three hilts. So the hilts are ridiculous. I'm probably only supposed to have one. But everything else, I should have at least three to four. So legs got absolutely screwed. I went four times dry by the end of it. So that's crazy. Uh, Torva said we went two x dry. So yeah, based on our shards, that is how much we went dry. Pretty insane. Anyways, I'm happy to be done though. But uh, overall, we made 4.6 bill of personal loot. So basically, every next kill on average for me is over a mil, so like 1.6 mil at the time of the price check. Chill, dude! Oh my god. Uh, anyways, that's it. That's the full kill with uh, good old Torva. It's been a pleasure, but it's time to say goodbye. Oh, that's a nice KC, 3636. And if you say it's not a nice KC, too bad, because uh, I'm out, you know? Wow, one of the few logs here that's actually green. You know, and I don't actually have to regrind twice because this, this came out after the log. So, yeah, shout out to all the homies. I'll probably put a list of some of the names of all the people that I actively did next with. You know, because without them, I couldn't have done this. That's for sure. But you can't solo it, and you gotta rely on the homies. So, so as you know, next drained a lot of supplies, but it did also give some other things. Uh, most notably, it gave me the EQ shards. I have 4,300 of them, and that's about 85 EQ keys. So that means I can enter any God Wars boss 85 times without KC. Most of this is going to go straight to Armadale, of course. It'll save me a lot of time for sure, because um, imagine spending time going to the wilderness and getting 85 EQ keys will save me many, many hours of having to farm EQ keys for Armadale, because we still need the pet. Also, another one is definitely the, uh, what is it, the Blood Essence? I don't know where I put it, though. I've gone uh, from next and from the Mage Man side, KC from 116,000 blood runes. Yeah, that means uh, if Raid 3, for example, requires a lot of bloods, this is going to be really nice. It'll speed things up a bit, you know? Okay, so after doing all this next, I had a few uh, thousand, I think, cooked monkfish. And I would use that in between trips to just heal up, right? But I only have 35 left, so honestly, I don't even think it's worth the bank slot anymore. I honestly didn't think I'd ever use these monkfish, but damn, next just used so much supplies. Uh, but I do still have like 16k raw monkfish. <laughs> so there's been something that I've been meaning to do for my house, and that is to add the lava floor theme to my house just because it looks kind of cool, and I can actually use up some of these onyxes I got from like Zolra and stuff in like ch uh, chambers. 
And the only thing I didn't have to make it was like the lava runes and I couldn't be asked, you know, making lava runes. But uh, I got a bunch from Killing Next uh, when I was getting the KC from Spiritual Mages. They drop a bunch, so it requires 2,000 lava runes and I have 3k from the Spiritual Mages. So it's perfect and I got everything. Damn, I have 12 onyxes, but it only requires 6. Okay, let's go ahead and build it now. Build theme space. Ah, there we go. Volcanic theme in the house. Oof. Alright, one last thing I want to do, actually, because the volcanic theme looks nice and all, but it doesn't really match well with the forest floor for the pet room. So we're going to add the volcanic theme, which also requires lava rooms, thank goodness. You know, I have some already. You know, close enough, because all the other themes are a little too bright. And my overall house theme is dark anyways, you know, so. Yeah, I like it. I like it. The house is looking a bit better in my opinion. Alright, time to plop down another added C because we are doing a farming montage. Like seriously, just this whole week. Every day, we're gonna do some farm runs. Get all the stuff back, all the herbs back. It's nice, Corp stopped me on white berries though. So I don't have to worry about collecting white berries at least. Oh, actually, I should explain uh, how my seed farming choices are going on right now because it's actually quite important. So there's three patches where your herb seeds will never die, right? This one, the one at Wise, and the one at Glade, right? Those three. And then there is six other patches that there's a chance your seeds might die. Because I have to plant three different types of herb seeds, Ranar, Toll, Flag, Snaps, what I do is I plant, obviously, Snapdragons, on the three that don't die, and then I do Toe Flex and Ranar uh, on the other six. But what that means is, at some point, it should match up about the same. Like, you know, in terms of the herbs I need, I should have like 1,000 of each. Alright guys, it's time to kill uh, two birds with one stone. Uh, as you know, making potions for next and probably inevitably some other future Raids 3 content. I need to get a lot of secondaries, right? Red Spider Eggs? I usually do have the tire of life, it's like 1k an hour, really good to go, but also on the side, you know, Seracnus is a thing, so I'm gonna be uh, doing some Seracnus, maybe get some log stuff, like the pet or the cudgel, cudgel is most realistic, uh, the jar, and along the way, I'll get a decent amount of Respirix, some clue scrolls. Oh, there it is, oh, oh, oh damn, 100 Respirix. <sighs> Second one, come on. Big. Oh, new item? Oh, wait, no, it's not really a new item. Because I've already gotten it before. Oh, my God. Oh, another collection log item, though. I mean, yo, I've gotten this, too. But this was pre log so... Yes, we did it. Land of the Goblin. These nuts is done. Okay. Yes, we did it. Giant's Foundry completed. Thank you, Blue outlined objects that I click on with these two done and the quest done oh by the way I got my quest cape back too shout out to twitch chat for spending all their channel points wait can I use this now oh yes I did it hey now the master clues that I'm gonna get while testing the Torva is gonna be a lot easier because I got my music cape back oh, yo this motherfucker stole my rune kite dude you're here to afk come on man why would you do this to me man a big G, more like a big R for rat. 